Astronomy GCSE Topic 2, the Moon in Orbit. What do you need to know about the orbit of the Moon? Well, uh, we know the diameter of the Earth. We know the diameter of the Moon. Did that in the last video. Now, the Earth to Moon distance, you need to learn 384,000 kilometers. Okay. Uh, looking at this, this blue thing represents the Earth. This little grey thing represents the Moon. Uh, and to scale, that is how far away the Moon is. Okay. A lot of the diagrams you see aren't to scale. This is to scale. Um, the Apollo missions took about four days to get to the Moon, interestingly. Travelling at about um, 10 kilometers a second, something like that. Uh, now, the orbital period of the Moon, how long it takes the Moon to orbit the Earth, 27.3 days. And the rotational period of the Moon, how long it takes the Moon to spin, 27.3 days. Notice they are the same. Now, why are they the same? Well, uh, before I say why, it's there's just a diagram illustrating that. So it takes the moon 27.3 days to orbit the Earth, and it takes the moon 27.3 days to rotate. And as a result of that, one face of the moon, one side of the moon, is always pointing towards the Earth. And this is called synchronous rotation. When the same face of the orbiting body always points towards the larger body. Now, it may not have always been this way, but it's the, the gravitational forces between the Earth and the Moon have made it this way. It has settled down into a, a synchronous rotation. They are tidally locked. The Moon is tidally locked, we say. So the gravitational forces acting on the object over time result in this orbit. And as a result, we only see one side of the moon. OK, phases of the moon we'll talk about later in another video. But we only see one side of the moon, the near side. There is the near side and the far side. And it wasn't until we actually sent up satellites to the moon, which went around the moon and had a look at the far side of the moon, that we knew what it looked like. And here's a photograph of the near side, and there's the far side. And you'll see there's some differences between them, which we'll talk about in another video. What percentage of the moon's surface can we see from Earth? Now, you might think 50%, because we can see half of it. But over a period of time, we can actually see from Earth 59%. And that's due to something called lunar libration. Now, uh, the star sign Libra is the scales. So remember rocking, it's a rocking motion. Libration is a, a rocking motion. And look at this animation, it's pretty crazy. Now, this is looking at the moon over a period of time. There's a few things to notice. Uh, obviously, the phases of the moon, I'll talk about in another video. Notice that the moon appears bigger and smaller. Look, it's big, and then it's smaller, and then it's bigger, and then it's smaller. So the moon appears bigger and smaller because it's closer and further away. It also looks as though it's rocking uh, up and down like that, rocking up and down, and also rocking from side to side. Yes, it appears to rock up and down and from east to west. Why is this happening? Well, there's a number of reasons why, which you should know. Why? Because the moon's orbit is elliptical. OK, it's not circular. Sometimes the moon is closer to the Earth, so it looks bigger. Sometimes it's further away. Uh, the moon's axis of rotation is slightly tilted. 
uh, by about six degrees. Okay, so the the orbit, the plane of orbit of the moon is slightly tilted uh, to the Earth, and so it appears at different angles at different times. And also because we on Earth observe it from different angles during the day. You know, in the morning, uh, moon's over there. In the evening, the moon's over there. So we are looking at it at different angles. And so for all of these reasons, the moon doesn't look as though it's just not moving. It rocks from side to side. It rocks up and down and it gets bigger and smaller. Okay, diameter of the Earth. Do you know these? If you don't, make an effort to learn them. Diameter of the Moon, distance from the Earth to the Moon, orbital period of the Moon, uh, rotational period of the Moon, the percentage of the Moon's surface we can see from Earth. Um, the lunar phase cycle, which is the time it takes to get from a full Moon to a full Moon, or a new Moon to a new Moon, is actually two days longer than the orbital period. And we will discuss why that is different in another video.